Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max, for Dave the Diver. On today's episode, we have two special things happening. So first of all, <clears throat> we have another VIP to show up. And on the other hand, we have the cucumber event, which means that serving dishes which have cucumber in them are actually gonna benefit us greatly. Now, unfortunately, due to the fact that I do not possess enough of the research points, I will not be able to get more of the dishes that I wanted to get. So that's a little sad because this one would actually benefit me benefit me greatly as I do have a lot of this ancient shrimp I do have some decent uh, number of cucumbers I have the black coral even the black vinegar so I will have to probably build the menu around the dishes which do include the cucumber and the other fancy stuff which I do possess but I will kind of need to manage uh, how much of this stuff do I serve and if I want to upgrade things because if it will burn through my actual uh, reserve of the cucumbers themselves then I will be absolutely screwed so I want to make sure that I at least improve some of these uh, dishes so that they do provide me with some decent quantity like I don't want to just improve this because it's just pure cucumber uh, this one I can improve because it's gonna go just through this one upgrade or three cucumbers themselves. So I can count already like one, two, three, four, five dishes that I can serve. And it's out of seven dishes. The, the biggest thing which I will have to keep an eye out for is the number of servings that I can provide. Uh, theoretically, one thing which can still happen is that uh, during the daytime, I might be able to maybe get a few more cucumbers. I will go and actually check here with Otto if he is willing to sell me some cucumbers might actually have some of them in here in stock but it does not seem so I already bought the ones which he has so that's most unfortunate and the cucumbers which I have to wait for uh, yeah they are not gonna reach the maturity today probably yeah so that's not gonna happen but it's fine so what I was thinking is that because I'm going to be able to access the control room, we might actually go and try to do that. In the afternoon, I will do another dive and I will just skip that and then we will go to the evening where we will have both the VIP and the cucumber event. So that might be something worth looking into. Uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm kind of trying to also make sure that this Yao thingy uh, Pokemon uh, will evolve into a different variety and I was able to find like a link on the wiki which tells me that if I manage to maintain uh, the happiness and hunger at certain point plus I make sure that the discipline has reached certain points like for example if I were to keep the uh, food at 4 out of 4, the happiness at uh, 4 out of 4, but the discipline would be at 9, I would get Beluga. So that will theoretically mean that out of all the potential like options of all the creatures and such, I will have another variety because you need to make sure that you will get like different uh, types of uh, stats in order to get this so you can get like whale shark green sea turtle trumpet fish stubby squid manatee the uh, dolphin which we already did have so yeah there's there's like a bunch of things which you can get out of here so the beluga maybe would be the next thing which i will try to get but it will heavily depend on like how I can deal with the stats because I'm not really sure how to improve the discipline of this little knucklehead as currently it's at three which uh, 
are not really helping me out. So I don't know if it will be the next stage at which I will be able to reach uh, what I'm looking for or when it's going to happen because you have the uh, row, then you have the fry, which is the current stage that I do possess. And only after that, we get either the orange fish or the blue fish, but I'm not really sure. I so far had only the orange fish, so yeah, uh, don't really know if this game can go like endlessly for you to just keep on diving, not sure. Uh, I have had a lot of fun playing this thing to be honest with you, so hard to tell. And as the game currently sits, I'm over 47 hours in and I'm still like just managing the first branch and all, all these other things. But that's mostly because I don't skip diving or other stuff and I try to maximize the time which I spend with the game. So I don't know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that can be done. I, I kind of do regret though not getting certain fish while it was raining in like seven days or so in a row. So I think that affected a lot of the biome which I was able to experience. Uh, right now I'm holding on to the gun which has like a death rifle, so it's the fully upgraded rifle. This means that certain bullets can trigger an instant kill. But uh, yeah, I mean, it can end up being all sorts of things. Uh, ROV to current location, return to the boat. Uh, I can get the upgrade have higher damage output it really doesn't work with the net gun which would benefit me in capturing the fish in highest quality because you catch them live but that's yeah, still what the hell I'm gonna go through the ocean in order to pick up potential consumables on my way down currently the actual diving knife which I do have equipped has higher damage output and is allowing me to even mine the ore deposits so i don't really see like kind of the reason or means to swap out for another melee weapon but if i'll come across like a different harpoon tip then of course i will try to swap out i would really love to get more nighttime diving done but uh, yeah lately I haven't really had too much time to try and execute that so we will just see what can be done I have put in at the C uh, village uh, location a request to like upgrade all of the population or, or not all of the population all the seed quality so that's like gonna have to go for a while I'm trying to see if there's anything rare on the surface we already see our first potential victim which is the swordfish So I'll definitely be grabbing that because it can be used for some nice quality dishes. Plus on top of it, if you uh, take some of the fish, you might actually be lucky enough to get a, a row, which will benefit you because in the fish farm, you will be able to keep on growing the or multiplying the fish endlessly. So that's, that's always nice. I'll take the Mediterranean parrotfish too. Uh, I'm honestly trying to hit the second pufferfish there because uh, you can actually utilize the pufferfish for some easy recipes. But you cannot kill them while they are in this stage. So all I have to do here is wait. At uh, this, I don't want to have a like one star quality that's really not good enough, so I would rather keep it at two star. I see a shark. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to get the crab pots installed from 50 meters to 130 because there is a depth uh, where our species of crustaceans, which I have not yet acquired. So that's why I'm trying to do that. So once I come across a location where I can put down uh, a crab pot, then I will of course do it. 
The reason why I'm also trying to capture fish uh, just w while being in the water is because you actually do need to put bait in the crab pot itself. So if you don't have some sort of meat on you, you will not succeed. I'm not really sure which ones of these fish I do have or not. So right now I'm kind of just trying to grab whatever. I know, I know that with the actual net gun it would be better. But the thing is, if I'll try to go into like a deeper section, I will certainly require the actual rifle because the predatory species there uh, will just uh, cause a whole lot more trouble. Also, I've seen like an interesting thing and uh, I'm not sure if this was from like super late game or something, but I, uh, like people were able to somehow send out employees for like uh, cooking ingredients. So if I would be running low on like soy sauce or something, I just might be able to send out some employee who's not being utilized on that day at the restaurant to go fetch me soy sauce or sea salt or something else and why in the world am I not able to capture you with the harpoon? Am I gonna seriously have to go and grab a net gun or something? I, I can do two star quality. I I'm just trying to get to this and we can therapy put in Barracuda proves uh, quite a lot of time to be really good. I want to try to put in a rare species of fish because I don't know if there's actually like a different outcome of what you might get out of the crab pot if you put in some high and the uh, fish versus a low end fish. Like, does the quality of the number of stars affect uh, what you might get out of there? Like how many lobsters or other crustaceans? Uh, does the uh, rarity of the meat affect this? So if you put in something which you might come across very rarely, so a merlin or a sailfish, there might be just one. What if I would put in tuna meat? Will I get a decent result out of that? That's something which I still do not know. <laughs> Actually looking into the wiki for that might be a good idea, but experimenting on the go like this is a little bit more fun for me. So all I have to wait to uh, do here is wait it out. It would be more practical if I would be able to move around, but there's just so many goddamn currents. This location is really unpractical for me to wait at. There's just lots of strong currents. This whole place seems like some sort of tunnel that's just trying to get you to go in one specific way. Don't really want to get inked, so I'm avoiding the squid. But we have from 50 meters to 130 to try and put down those scrap pods. Unfortunately, the crustaceans which I received here, I already did catch, so nothing new nothing new but maybe maybe i will be able to get what i'm looking for i'm not really sure right now if i have like more meals with the barracuda some of the species i am just really disappointed because uh the devs just put them like you you get the basic uh meal like you get just slices of fish on uh, rice but that's it and then you have certain species which you can just put on like six to god knows how many dishes and I don't know, it's kind of a shame. Like at least every species should have received maybe uh, one basic option and then maybe like one... ...actual meal which would make it a little bit more awesome. I'm trying to big, uh, get the big uh, giant trevally because uh, this knucklehead is used for one of the cucumber dishes. I right now do not recall, to be perfectly honest with you though. Holy crap. I have no idea if I have this tiny fish. To be honest with you, like, 
once I started to acquire like the recipes and so on and such, I, I kind of stopped uh, capturing all these tiny fish because I, I just honestly don't know. Holy crap, this is one heavily populated area. We have Hammerhead to the right, the Tiger Shark to the left. Seriously, what is up with this place? Maybe it's because there's the entry to the damn boat, so uh, I might be able to get actually uh, a sailfish in there, but uh, I was able to get it actually twice on the last episode when I dove in. It's like a separate area all to itself. So usually what you will find here is one hammerhead, one barracuda, and depending on usually the weather, it's if there is sailfish. Now, usually it used to be that it had to rain in order for the sailfish to manifest here. But lately, I have had the luck of actually the sailfish. Yeah, you see, it's actually there. So, it's kind of fun. Plus, if you're looking for those ingredients for the cooking, definitely, definitely come check this out. You will get whatever it is that is in here. Okay, so the dead rifle did trigger on both of these. I'm gonna send off the sailfish like this. I still have two charges for the drone. This knucklehead I was able to pull in without any issues whatsoever. I know that the green fish is also required for one of the dishes. And these ones don't occupy that much space. I mean, right now I can go all, all the way to like 155 kilos, so that allows me to bring in a large variety of fish. And theoretically, I should be trying to hold on to like a different region. Uh, mostly uh, just so that I can get like the row and populate the other fish ponds which I have at the fish farm but uh, I'm, I'm trying to like get as much as I can and make this as fun as I can I honestly I'm having a lot of fun with this game like I could not believe how much fun I'm having with Dave the Diver so I'm gonna put in one of the, the, the hammerhead sharks uh, fillets. Just due to the fact that it occupies like 13 kilos, and if I swap it out for a bunch of lower weighing species, it's just better exchange. It's the variety. But there's still dishes which I want to get, but I need to keep giving like perfect services in order to get five flames for the research. And I need to reach like 30 meals or 30 dishes in order to get the achievement. And I also read that if you get uh, certain employees to like level 15 or so, they will unlock specific uh, dish just uh, which only they can get so it's, it's kind of funny that there's like multiple ways for you to actually get uh, different types of uh, meals so it's not just solely dependent on you but also by investing into the employees increasing their cooking skills and such you might actually get a benefit from that as well so that's that, that can be actually quite neat now, I'm still looking for one more diving location, or one more location where I can put the damn, uh, what you call it, uh, crap on. That would be nice. And I haven't had the chance to check out the actual Dredge DLC yet. And the cool thing is that based on what I was able to see on Steam, that DLC should be for free, so I'm not really sure if you need to first finish off the base game in order to trigger the DLC. 
but I have had fun with Dredge when I did the 100 days in a video game. Sure, I was able to finish the story in like 80 point something days, but uh, I, I don't know, like, uh, Dredge is kind of a fun game where I believe even a knucklehead like me would be able to pull off a 100% completionist run. I would have to go back, play through the game again and all this jazz, but I, I do believe it can actually be done, it's just that I will have to dedicate the time to it. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of not the biggest achievement hunter to be uh, honest with you. If the game is fun enough for me, then sure, I will spend my time with it. But to sometimes just specifically play the game in order to achieve one, one specific thing, uh, might go against the enjoyment factor for me and so that's why I don't like Go specifically for that sort of stuff, but everyone is different and I have currently like two games uh, that are 100% completed. I used to have a few more but then like DLCs and other crap came out and like DLC isn't even that good so I did not really see the, the point of getting the DLC and therefore I no longer have the 100% on that game and I, I, I don't know what to think about it. It's an interesting idea for like a discussion video, that's for sure. And I'll definitely try to work on that. I haven't done a discussion video in a long ass time and I have had just lots of excuses and I, I kind of want to really change up the the upload schedule and all these things for the channel i'm probably not gonna upload so regularly and do just the playthroughs because i know from like the the actual uh feedback that youtube gives me that yeah, people are just not that much interested in that so i'll try to look for some potential alternative and see if I'll be able to uh, make it more interesting for you. Because I want to grow the channel, I want to see where I can get it. If 100 days in video games is what will help me get there, sure, I'll keep on making those. If uh, different type of videos will not help me get there, I will just stop doing those. But I definitely want to keep on improving my writing skill and stuff like that. And I can only do that by pumping out like reviews, early access reviews, and content of such nature. So, so yeah, uh, maybe like a comparison during early access versus when it's fully released. That that can be a fun concept too. So there's, there's like a lots of ways that I can take it, and I definitely need to uh, work on my writing skills and my information delivery. So that's definitely something that I wish I would have worked on before and something that I would have actually tried to improve even earlier. But then again, I, I kind of never really thought about YouTube being something for me that much when I was, let's say, at school and I was forced to write uh, like a... Uh, a review or like a school paper for some book that I had to read uh, mostly because those things were boring as hell to me and I just did not really like the story or the idea of it and so I just never got to it and I used like internet sources to get a shortcut and stuff like that but if, if I'm like trying to be honest and I really enjoy the game and maybe you like decided to subscribe to the channel because you might agree with some of my opinions then maybe providing you with that feedback might be just what you need so it's just that little nudge in the right direction yes it's good no it's bad stay away from it yes buy it wait for the discount during a sale things like that can actually help a lot because i know that not a lot of people 
can have that much time to invest into the video games and like my primary hobby are the games and then i have like a lot more hobbies but the fun thing is that actually some of my hobbies which i cultivated over the years uh, can even turn into careers so that's kind of cool uh, video games uh, maybe i will never be able to develop a video game because i'm just too stupid to do the coding so i would have to outsource everything but uh, i'm not really sure how i would then manage the control of the quality and everything so yeah uh, then uh, potentially i can end up working in a shop which sells video games or just have the youtube channel and recommend it to people and i would always probably say buy it during the steam sale or something but uh, that's just uh, a kind of easy way out of it but uh, then i have like uh, uh being able to construct a computer that's another skill and i actually uh was meant to have a job which was like related to me buying for an office laptops and everything but then this one a chinese export came out which nobody asked for and it all went to hell so uh never was able to fulfill that career path which kind of still pisses me off until today but uh I don't know. Uh, I'm not that salty about it as I used to be, and I, I was really pissed off about it because I kind of feel like maybe the the past few years that I've been like switching jobs, which made it a little bit more or a little bit less stable for me to have like my CV. Yeah, we see that you were like nine months here, three months here, what the hell happened? It, it, it's not the same as when you can show someone, hey, I've been six years at one company, hey, I've been five years or something at the other company. It, it shows the employer that if they choose you, you have a much better chance of sticking out the BS that they might try to push on to you. So, uh, yeah, there, there's things like that which I have to consider, and the last one would be probably uh, like managing a, a gym or something like that. I I like to go to the gym. I probably would hate to just sit at the the goddamn front desk. That uh, would probably drive me insane. But maybe I would be able to bring like a laptop and just write stuff. So that might be an option. Uh, but yeah, uh, there, there's things like that. I would not do a personal trainer. I believe that if you want to do that, uh, you should have a few degrees in like nutrition or something minimum in order to actually like not be full of shit and just waste people's time and money. And now with like the access to information on the internet, it's it's even like super hard for people to be able to tell apart. Yes, this is like a valid source of information. No, this is total load of crap. Uh, this guy is obviously on steroids, despite the fact that he's saying he's not. And then he admits that yeah, he was using steroids all this time. So stuff like that. Uh, there's it's kind of funny when you can turn a hobby into a career path because if, if you do something which you enjoy like i do with this uh it's not work like it's it's not so if you just keep pumping out content all the time and it's actually entertaining the people sure i do have this one theoretical theories which i would like to take a crack at but I'm not really sure how uh, YouTube would uh, take it because I would potentially like curse quite frequently and maybe it would work as a short or something but I would have to look into the actual uh, rules of YouTube to see if it would be possible because uh, it, it would be like meant to be a joke but if you put like too much uh, strong language into a video YouTube might try to like flag your channel or not push it out there and so it's much harder for you to then uh, get the audience that you're trying to get and uh, that might hurt your bottom line at the end the most so 
I haven't really made up my mind on like how I would try to approach this, but there, there's like definitely things which I have considered. I uh, just that due to the fact that I'm stupid myself and I have made the mistake of putting an inappropriate thumbnail from South Park, the Stick of Truth, on my video. Uh, that gave my channel like strike or warning and so yeah that's something which I would try to avoid so obviously doing dumb shit like that not the preferred choice so I'm trying to make sure that I don't repeat such thing So there, there are things which I want to do, it's just that uh, because I'm still learning things, I, I don't know how the videos would come out, don't know what the end result would look like, and because I wanted to uh, entertain you and make it so that if I put it onto the channel, it will be there and it will not like cancel out my channel so you know yikes the ground is rumbling again it's getting more intense i should quickly go down to the control room so i do have like 20 something kilos still left i could have theoretically like uh left myself with a little bit more wiggle room but uh yeah i don't know trying to put in as much content as I potentially can and it would be nice if I would get like some harpoon attachment. These tiny fish, this is exactly what the net gun is perfect for because if you like group them up together, you can get like multiple fish simultaneously and it's so much easier than just trying to torture the fish and turning them into a cheese wheel with all the holes in them. I don't really care about the Greenland shark right now. I'll have to bypass the uh, ancient species as well. I haven't seen few of them though still, so that's a little sad, but maybe they're gonna be in that control room or something. Uh, some better harpoon tip would be also appreciated. Uh, no, no, that's not what I want. I think the pile of rocks over there is moved. Did I check with the camera? Sure, I will probably mess up the photo shoot, but... Oh, crap! I need to capture the whole side. Dude, seriously? Can you, like, stop moving and get in the frame? Ah, uh, seriously? Now I have to try some other time then. Now you'll be able to go in. I feel hot air coming out from the inside. Well, that is not a good sign. Be careful. Well, the last time we were here, like I had to deal with the the, the submarine, which was a boss fight. Then a Chronosaurus showed up, and in the other region, there was even another ancient species of a shark, which had like a, a saw on its mouth. So they had like three boss fights. The roots have severely mutated. The door is blocked by a tree sap. There should be a way to go inside. What the fudge is that? Okay, I'm able to pick up whatever the heck this is. Am I gonna have to drop it on here? I have no clue what I'm doing here, honestly. I don't think that's the right way to do this. So I'll just pick up whatever this is and I'll... Yeah. Hey, this looks like some sort of trap too. 
now it's gonna get off and I'll be caught in here. The bat is cut off. Not good. Oh crap, this thing. A sea scorpion and mutated divine tree fruit. This is terrible. I must somehow find a way. Well, I don't know if I'll can be able to capture this damn thing, but I'm certainly interested in trying it. Probably... Yeah, the, the one star rank, that's just not good. Problem is, I will not be able to... <laughs> Sorry. Do... Uh, a lot here. Uh... With just the harpoon tip, which I was able to accumulate, especially these knuckleheads will keep on dishing out this much damage. not lucky enough to come across a harpoon tip that would benefit me let's see two star fudge man seriously what do i need in order to like bring in this knucklehead the uh, in two stars because if both the harpoon and the rifle manage to just get it to one star then it really does not matter still that one oxygen tank so I can work with that and I'm guessing I'll have to grab this core and like drop it in here or, or maybe drop it on to the sap for it to melt oh crap so it like detonates Ooh, okay my bad now I know Trying to figure out what the hell to get rid of. Because I don't have the species, so... I'll get rid of Barracuda. That's gonna help me out. And I'll just pick up this. Try to like drop it down. Voila. Okay, what if I drop this mutated divine tree fruit onto the door I saw earlier? Like, blow up a way back out of here? I'm not really sure what this guy is like. Maybe here I would be able to like break the chain or something. That certainly did not work. I feel like I need to actually pull out this one because it's the closest one to the doors. It's... Ah, crap. I could have probably brought it over there. I can try one more time. I should have picked up one of the damn dumplings in order to make me swim a little bit faster. But then again, I had no clue what would be expected of me in here. So I know by now that I should be able to... Yeah, that did not do the trick. Need to probably look down to see uh, what Dave is referring to. Maybe I need to pick up this knucklehead. Hydrothermal vents is blocking the door. There's another way to stop the water jet. 
I'm gonna probably cook this damn sea critter alive here, but uh, I'll sacrifice you for myself. Yeah, a better, better pass. Well, this is gonna be a little bit more trickier. This is a massive crater. The top wall looks loose. Maybe it will collapse. Hey, he dropped up over here. Well, that's convenient. Hmm. Did not do what I was hoping for. Uh, do I need to, like, maybe drop off the fruit over at this volcano thingy? Yeah, probably not. I feel like I screwed up here somehow. What if I just stay here and soak up the damage? <laughs> Did that do the trick? Well, holy fudge. Uh, so that raises the question of how the hell am I going to get out of here? sure if I'm doing the right thing here but uh, if I'll drop the explosive wait that way is blocked off god damn it ah hold on am I able to like grab this or do something with this I'm trying to see if I get like some sort of trigger I'm not really sure what the hell to do in this scenario here. And usually the puzzles here are like, even for the idiot like I am. The thing is, I don't see... Anything in here that will help me out? I need to pick up one of these two knuckleheads now. Because this thing will just like push me upwards. I thought that it will actually like injure Dave. Come on, Dave. Oh, maybe I need to like... Ah. No? Oh, come on. I feel like if I would be able to somehow put down all three of these knuckleheads at the same time. The damn volcano would blow up. You gotta be shitting me, right? Do I need to like drop these dipshits from a certain height in order for it to... I cannot manage 
since you get like three of them. I know for a fact that I probably cannot grab two or more. The time is just not... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, fuck it all. I should take one divine tree fruit with me. I'm not sure why, but ah crap, I'll have to probably uh, swim with it towards the sap. Should be careful. No clue what's waiting for me in here. Uh, I'm guessing that these smoke pe fumes are not the healthiest bunch. Able to get through there. And I caught like a direct hit here. Oh, here the Anglos are just pure evil. I'm still holding on to that one. No clue what's gonna happen. Oh, wait, hold on. I can like permanently stuff that up. But that that thing is definitely dead, right? It cannot really move from inside of the little crater there. That tiny, tiny volcano. That's definitely some sort of animal torture, right? Or are these creatures like capable of withstanding such high heat? Man, what was the name of the Pokemon which was that snail made out of magma? I cannot remember. Slugma or something like that? Oh crap, I think these are the scorpions. They're attached to divine tree roots. Yeah, I think those are gonna be the scorpion babies. Oh! This is actually a really really ancient species of predator which like eventually evolved into like scorpions and stuff those creatures i have seen them in the sea people mural all right tenson once told me of an ancient engineer altered creatures by infusing the divine tree energy this may be the creatures they have survived for such a long period of time still breeding i don't know what's happening Okay, I'm um, guessing they're not edible, or... They keep unfortunately detonating, which... Is making me a little upset, because I want to serve this stuff. I'm kind of glad that the harpoon is enough to kill it. Okay. Oh, so this thing is like preventing me from doing stuff. Okay. The damn chain, huh? What the shindig? Swim, Dave, swim. I know for a fact there's gonna be some big ass boss battle because something has to be laying those damn eggs. Are even more eggs here? They look like they're ready to hatch, but I can't go back now. There is a door there. I could melt the mucus covering the door. Sure, let's call it mucus. And conveniently, one not mutated divine tree. It's 
So I'm guessing I need to put that into the cannon here. And now I'll need to use the gun in order to melt the mucus? Contraption is working. Maybe I can melt the mucus by rejecting the light from the divine fruit. Yeah. I, I don't think they are uh, fans of the light. I need to get rid of them before the I can melt the mucus. Dave the Diver introducing tower defense. Phew, that was the last of them. Let me melt the mucus. Sure, let's let's call it that. Ah, more eggs! Again, we need to get rid of them. Okay, we must really open up the doors fast. Now I have to probably cut through them last time. I will eliminate them once and for all. So I have to like kill every last one of them? Man, this is the mission in StarCraft you have never played before. God damn it. That should be last of them. I must quickly melt the mucus covering the door before anything else shows up. I already melted the damn stuff. Why do I feel like a boss is gonna show up because I melted the mucus? Okay, let's swim. Let's find out what it is. I know for a fact there's gonna be some sort of boss fight. I feel it. The hell is that? The offspring of that ancient creature is clinging onto something. Is that the nucleus of the divine tree? Could that be why the divine tree is acting strange? We need to get rid of those creatures first. Awesome. Boss of the earthquake. How the hell do I get rid of these little shits? Okay. Please don't tell me that something's gonna curl out of the, the magma pit. Kalima! Kalima! Anyone else? Little Indiana Jones? Yeah, the rifle is faster, but then again, I have only six rounds left, and I have no clue what's what's gonna go after me. Maybe we will find out that... Okay, the nucleus is stabilizing again. I guess that should do it. I hope the earthquakes will stop now. I should start heading back to land. that is that mom of those creatures I saw earlier no wonder there were eggs everywhere I'm guessing the eyes are again the target down in case you needed help what's going on on here the huge monster came up from the lava i know what that is i've seen uh it uh in text about ancient civilization sea people looks like the creature known as yaoi ancient beast from legend still alive 
it's massively bigger. The sea people er elder told me about some old experiment. Must have absorbed the divine tree and the geothermal energy to get this big. We have to defeat it to stabilize the divine tree. Dave, I'm counting on you. What? How can I possibly defeat such a huge ancient creature? You took down a dinosaur just a moment ago. Now, that was a different situation. I don't even have any weapons or bullets now. Uh, Dave, uh, isn't the weapon right here? Duff, what are you talking about? I told you, this drone was all kinds of hidden features. I knew this day would come, but it was a bit sooner than expected. I'll input the activation code for the drone attack mode. Okay. Wow, it can do that. This drone can maintain oxygen levels, fire up unlimited bullets and even manipulate time manipulate time yes if you press this you can temporarily manip manipulate time it should give you some time to dodge attacks of course you need to be quick this is all the help i can give you right now i hope we won't be saying our final goodbyes goodbye see you again here go Okay. Give me the thumbnail. That did not work. I was hoping to take the snapshot before that white screen popped up, but... Alright, let's deal with this thing. Oh, shit. A good news is I don't have to keep pressing the damn thing. What the hell is it like shooting out of its ass something? What is this? Starship Troopers? Okay, that was just a cheap move. Oh, that was just nasty. Is that it? For a second siege. Our current attack level might not be enough. This enemy is tougher than expected. I didn't want to do go this far, but let's unlock the limiter. Why didn't you do that from the start? Who brings out their triumph card right at the beginning of the game? Just watch this. I call it Stellar Laser. A superpowered laser combining all of our tech. Never thought we'd use it underwater. Hmm. Pay attention, if you hold space, you can gather stellar energy. Let go of the button to fire. Easy, right? But keep in mind that you'll move slower while charging, so be careful. Good luck, Dave. A charged fire laser. Great, let's finish this.
based on all that white gunk on the walls, I would guess a lot of vitamin D. The problem here is I'm not able to tap into the consumable, which I had. My oxygen level is not being depleted. to run away. If I don't kill it now, it will continue to cause problems. Let's put an end to this once and for all. So we went from Dave the Diver to Dave the Exterminator. Seems like it's finally tired. Now is our chance. We need to end. Oh crap. Oh, that's not good. No, not the drone. Go get it. gonna now have to run away from it that was close uh, look it's using its last bit of strength they move to the open path for now it won't be able to hold on much longer now it's gonna be chasing me huh God, this is gonna suck Dead end. What should I do? 
Somehow, let me guess. It's... Oh, crap. Oh, the creature's entangled in the divine tree. That is lucky opportunity to finish it off. The drone seems to be malfunctioning. I can't pick up the weapon signal. Well, what should I do? Is there anything useful around here? Maybe, like, the divine tree fruit. There's a huge divine tree fruit device over there. The divine tree fruit seems to have returned to normal. What if I put there and operate it? That's too big. I can't possibly move and aim it all by myself. Why would you close the damn doors behind yourself? Are you alright, human? Ah, oh, see people. We came down here because you didn't come up uh, even though the divine tree was sta stabilized. Is that Yowie? Has it grown that big over this long period of time? It seems like we need to defeat the creature to end this. This is our chance while well, it's tied up. Let's finish it off. It won't be enough unless we don't use the divine tree fruit device over there. Well, given my experience in both physics and math, it seems like we might need to adjust the angle of the device upwards. Well, that might work, but it looks incredibly heavy. We'll help. If five of us combine our strength, we can do it somehow. You bring the divine tree fruit and put it in. There's no time. Well, look at even Princess landing a hand. That's nice. Dave, you're wasting your time while they're playing with the damn keychain. Come on. Come on. Come on, Davey boy. Alright, I'm ready! The device is responding. It's time to end our long history. You pesky nuisance, take this! Come in! Come in! Is it gonna go inside of its own shell? Creature Hunter caught all the bosses. Alrighty. My aim was precise. It won't recover from that seat. Ew, this has really been an incredible journey. You did a great job, human. Let's go back to Sea People Village and talk. Yeah, I, I want I want whatever is at the bottom there. Please, no! I missed out on the ingredient! The water temperature has stabilized and the divine tree fruit is also in good condition. The villagers who were ill seems to be slowly improving. We've faced many challenges, but it's a relief that we've managed to overcome them. I think the earthquakes on the mainland will stop as well. How about going up and checking the status? Good job, human. Come and visit us often. You cannot be serious. Please don't tell me that I left that location without picking up a piece of that creature. Oh, Shandik, it's already nighttime? Okay, well, then I don't have a choice. I have to go and serve the customers. <laughs> already nighttime? It's been a long day. I think I'll drop by at Bancho Sushi. Yep. Question is, oh wow, I cannot even like do anything with the damn. Oh my god, I missed the VIP? God damn. Hey there, Dave. You're finally back. Oh, everyone's gathered here. We heard from Dr. Bacon you've accomplished a lot. You did a good job. How about we all relax today and enjoy some food together? Oh, awesome. I was worried I might have to get right back to work. Great, we should all celebrate together. Man, I missed out on the VIP. Oh, I did not have a clue that this would happen. It's been a while, bunch of sushi. Are you Sammy? Are you enjoying your life here? You know, uh, there are times when I get a little bit bored, but it's also incredibly inspiring. Yo, yeah. the new song that I recently released, Farmer Daddy Online, has been getting great feedback, you know? So you're still making music, for sure. The sound of a hoe hitting the ground and clucking of a hen, it's all just one big beat to me, yo. 
Uh, why didn't you come in person? Because I'm waiting for an important parcel today. I've been inspired from afar by your bravery. The way you fought tirelessly to save Sea People Village. If you were a beautiful girl, I might have joined your fandom. I'll pour all my energy into weapon research and prepare for any upcoming crises. As your colleague, I'm counting on you to continue effort on your continued efforts. All right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> true feast. You've always so busy, we hardly had the time to chat. Mm. Now that things are calmer, I'll have plenty of time to share with you some more of my stories. Ooh, Ooh sir. Uh, Back in my diving days, I was mostly into free diving, and I wrote the ne uh, necklace my f and I wore the necklace my father gave me. But Barracudas gave a tendency to tag anything that oh. shines. Out of nowhere, a school of barracudas came at me. Even worse, I didn't even have a harpoon that day. I figured fleeing might be more dangerous, so I swam straight toward the barracudas. Whoa. I think the ground just shook. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Uh, Davey worked really hard. It's uh, gratifying to see your adventures prospering. It's largely thanks to you for providing such reliable staff. You must have had your playful with all kinds of things. But now I hope you can support Bancho in running the restaurant efficiently. Bancho's a bit stubborn, but might stir up some problems if uh, left to his own devices. Hey Dave, your assistance has greatly helped elevate my status at the company. We have a new reporter now, which uh, lightens my load a bit. Yeah. So I can even afford to join in these evening <laughs> gatherings. Since I cannot drink beer, I stick to non-alcoholic drinks, though. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that I was helpful, so you don't need me to help with the reporting anymore? What, what, what are you talking about? I still don't know how to dive. If there's anything I need help with, I'll come looking for you. Good job, Dave. I only opened the shop here because this place has plenty of fish. Who knew it had such a secret? Well, you've solved the problem, and my business is booming now. I guess my decision was right after all. <laughs> it was a fun experience. Coming here was a good idea. I'm thinking about seeking out another adventure. What do you think? Let's just rest for now. First time seeing you in the shop, huh? Well, I just finished submitting my paper, so I'm a bit free. Good, I'm glad for you. Eco back there. I haven't seen it before. Yeah, you have sharp eyes. It's a reward for maxing out Eco Watcher level. It's a service that prints out faces of users committed to environmental protection mm -hmm. on the back. I've really been putting a lot of work in since you got some free time. I can't fall behind. Ho oh, ho! Oh, Sato, you made it too? I heard you've been venturing into glaciers to collect Marinka, and I thought I'll show you some support. Well, that's not quite true, but. Thanks to you, my world ranking keeps getting better and better. Now that you big event is behind us, let's see about gathering the reminding ones. Oops, I just remembered. I forgot to turn off the lights after Gaia went to sleep. I still can't believe what happened. Not just see people's civilization, but the village too. You even solved their crisis. Great job. From now on, we should keep the civilization secret. They need to maintain the peace uh, they've regained. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. I was busy with the shop. What are you talking about, Banjo? The sea people love your cooking. Uh, if that's the case, I'm glad. Now there's no more earthquakes. Let's get to work. Oh, Vincent, are you here alone tonight? I didn't come here to break your restaurant today. Don't stress. Take it easy. When I dine in peace, I can savor the intricate favor uh, flavors more. It's delicious. I'm happy to hear that. I guess my progressive... Uh, Prejudices have worn off, but there's no denying that there has been slight change to the taste. Really? The taste changed? It's a bit smoother. You can say it's softer. Before, the dishes were brimming with the chef's strong world style, but now it feels more accommodating to the consumer. Interesting. So that translates into the taste as well. Well, that might just be the perception. Okay. Uh, phew, it was a lot tougher than I thought, but... Uh, I met a lot of nice people in the Put end. Looking back, it was a fun adventure. Never would have uh, visited a place like the Sea People Village in my life where I'm not even given the opportunity. Okay, let's relax and go for another exciting dive!
I have honestly no clue if this is like the end of the main story. But even if it is, I'm gonna probably keep on playing the game just because I'm having so much blast with it. Oh my god, they're making me a statue. I still want to fight the guy from the Italian cuisine and keep serving the cats. Finish all the Pokemon cards. And open the branch. Who knows? I really have no clue if this is the end of the story. But I certainly had a blast playing through it. That's for sure. The hell? Okay. I, I think this is actually an achievement which you can get. If you like shoot out all these names. So I guess this is the real end. That's gonna make it a little bit awkward for me to figure out what's gonna be the next book series on the channel. This certainly provided me with plenty of entertainment over the time. So there are still more dishes to research, more staff to hire, more branches to open up. That VIP to deal with. Oh my god, there's like 23 more names. So yeah, I will probably clear this out and that's gonna be it for the episode. So thank you all for watching and if you want to see more cool content, check out the channel. Links are in the description and I will see you at the next one.
two more. Oh, you suck. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>